everything that isn't bigger and badder than they, simply because they can clear the chaff and then ca they can still tank a lot. And in the late game, with a lot of text, sledges are also amazing. But there's this weird gap in between where I think sledges really don't fare all that well because they don't have the DPS and they are not good enough chaff clear. You kind of have to survive the mid game with sledges. That's the feeling that I have. I got EMP again and I can definitely put that against some of these spiders, the tarantulas. While he's buying more and more of them. I did get a portable shield because technically that's actually more HP now than heavy armor. This gives 80% health. This just gives 100% health as, uh, well, shield on top. I do go for raves here. My thought is that if I can clear the spider mines quickly enough, then everything else can shoot at the tarantulas. In retrospect, I think I should have stuck with sledges because they do deal with the spider mines relatively well. My opponent does have some level 2 Mustangs on both sides. I think he leveled both of them this round because they have 0 XP here. Yeah. And he also put some Crawlers in the flank, so I guess in this position, Wraiths would have actually been pretty good. They can clear this and then they can proceed to clear these Sabres. He also puts another Tarantula here. Yeah, the Wraiths in this scenario at least weren't it, now that I have effectively no Chaff running in front to protect against the Mustangs. In any case, uh, the battle here is proceeding, but the spider mines are actually helping to clear out everything. Well, almost everything. It seems that all the units on the flank died, including my opponent's units. Rhino once again on low health, but it does push through and it does level now. There simply wasn't enough DPS on that side to kill it. Spider Mine explodes on the Rhino, does a tiny amount of damage, but it really doesn't matter that much. Same thing happens again. In the end, the tower dies. The Mustangs lock onto my Wraith, and my opponent's units survive on very low HP as these crawlers are not able to kill any of this. There's three of them, and too many of them. Too many of the opponents. I really don't know what to really do here. I definitely know the Wraith was a misplay in this situation. Either that or I need to go so mass Wraith that there's no helping the opponent going for Phoenixes and stuff. This flank is a bit of a problem, but it's kinda handled. The big thing is this, the level on the Tarantula. I decide to go for EMP on the Sledges in order to try and slow everything, including this Rhino down. My opponent, of course, levels the Tarantula. It has been killing uh, stuff repeatedly. Unfortunately, the Sabertooth has not had uh, the level. The Crawlers did, and I don't think that it... I would have much more preferred it if the Saber had gotten the level, to be honest. Rhino gets leveled. It has been unanswered by myself for the longest time here. Unfortunately, the Marksman got very close to killing it, but never actually completed the job. And here already is the Phoenixes for my opponent. Meanwhile, I'm sitting on money because I don't know what to do, so I decide, you know what, let's just go ham on the sledges. Try to stop these mines from spawning, try to outrange these things and kill them. EMP hits instantly, but unfortunately not quickly enough. But you can see that the mines are kind of being intercepted by the sledges. Unfortunately, even without speed, this rhino is still too powerful here. And it's not taking any significant amount of damage. Meanwhile, that tarantula has broken through and this tarantula has broken through as well. In the end, as you can see, my entire army gets completely and utterly stomped. Mine takes the tower. Actually, they are not called Widow Mines. I think that's a StarCraft 2 thing that I'm constantly remembering. Orange Man is the last to stand, but not for long. And the fight ends with me losing. Once the Spider Mines came out, but truly... The answer is once my opponent got some actual units on the front, I just ended up losing. He got junior manufacturing too, so if this fight continues, I'll be more and more and more at a disadvantage. I really didn't know how to handle this. So, let's do what I always want to do. Take over the turn, in this case for myself. I think I already experimented what to do here. So what I decided to do, or rather what I figured out would work, uh, I hope that I correctly make all of the moves, because it was a specific set of moves that I was able to figure out. 
So what I do is I mass recruit myself some of these. Then I go and just hit these missiles because the missiles land a bit after the mines land. So they can wipe at least one of these mines out. Then I put a hacker here in order to answer that rhino. I also put a hacker here around that in order to answer that mine. And then I put a hacker, I think, like here in order to answer that general front line. Uh, I'm not sure if I put range on them, though. I think what I did was I sold a wraith and uh, got EMP on the sledges regardless. And then temp range, if I'm not mistaken. It was pretty flimsy, but it did actually work. One way of turning this one around. Let's see if I did things correctly. So as you can see, at least one of the mines got wiped out. And now that is being hacked. Hacker is working here. And is definitely helping to get that Rhino on my side of the team. Meanwhile, this has officially been hacked. And now suddenly there's a lot more HP on the front line for me. That hacker unfortunately got wiped out. But the Phoenixes actually died to the Wraith. Ranged Wraith coming in clutch. And in the end, yes, it looks like that was the correct sequence that I figured out in order to turn this one around. Because spiders, uh, the tarantulas, are actually pretty vulnerable uh, against hackers. Uh, you can hack the mines and they will kind of self-destruct on the opponent's army. And you can also hack the actual mine spawners, which will be even worse for the opponent. So, that is how I was able, like, I spent, what, five attempts or something like that to figure out uh, one way. There's probably many ways in order to beat this. But that's one way to beat it. EMP on the sledges, shutting off the mine production. Maybe actually mech rage or something would have been even better for the added DPS. Uh, but in the end, yeah, hackers were actually one viable answer into this board. And I would have dealt a lot of damage to my opponent here. Like, he would have been sweating next round, I bet. Anyway. Uh, that's it for this one. Uh, that is a pretty terrifying aggro that I did not know how to defend against. Uh, I have also, I should mention this, watched uh, Alexander defend against the same player doing the same thing afterwards. And I looked how he was doing it. And he was just putting some phoenixes here. And uh, I guess you need some sort of chaff clear in order to deal with that. But honestly, if you just put some crawlers here, the mines are probably going to annihilate the opponent's crawlers along with your crawlers. So I guess that works. Ah, who knows? Anyway, I will have to play against this one again and again and probably again and again in order to figure out how to beat it. But if you see tarantulas in your flank, know that just a saber is not going to stop it forever. So, thanks again for watching and listening, and until next time.